I go to the Ahafo region and he's smart, talented and very creative. Although he's unable to use his hands effectively, he's braved the odds and tops his class despite his disability. Well, mission brings to you the story of Jonah Mauni Anashuga, who is in dire need of support to undergo medical care and further his education. Today, mission is at Suswaho RC Primary and Kindergarten School in the Dryam Kwanta Municipality of the Ahafo region. We're here to meet a special boy who, despite his disability, has braved the odds to join his colleagues in class. Well, he needs a little support to become someone in future. Yes, I was born like this. Before um, I was sent to school, people, everybody who will see me just look at me. That time, I won't come out to go with them or play with children, just like that. So I was at home every time doing artwork and modeling and money chains. When we first met Jonah, he was writing his end of term exams at the Suswaho RC Primary and Kindergarten School. He's unable to use his hands effectively, but slowly he strives to support himself over the years by using both hands, though slowly, to write. But he was almost denied his right to education. I didn't start school early because my father knew, knows that I can't even go to school <coughs> because of my conditions. People tell me if Jonah was their son, they wouldn't have been able to cater for him. When he was born, I felt ashamed to send him to school. A friend called me and encouraged me to give him education. He now tops his class. Yes, sir, yeah. or can come. Thanks to inclusive education, Jonah has joined regular pupils in class who support him in everything he does. <laughs> By dint of hard work, Jonah is stopping his class. And he's also good academic both, even all field. He cannot move all the uh, the hands and the legs. For right now, as we are talking, he cannot even walk a distance of um, 10 meters without sitting. We are trying to get means of helping him because the mentor, the mind is actually excellent. You could see that in the school, he's the best student. The mind is excellent, but the future, when you leave him alone to go or stay as a family member, what can he do for himself? The help he's needing, first one, is like we need experts outside to help him. Our environment that we are, we don't know what else they do. We need experts to come to his aid. The assembly uh, has such a system in place. And uh, we do help the disabled people in the uh, municipality. Uh, not long ago, we, we, we distributed items to the disabled children. Especially Jonas is one of those that we distributed uh, the items to. Due to his disability, Jonas family had to relocate from the north to Dry and Kwanta in the Hafo region to seek medical care for him. 
Jonah's father is a farmer and not financially stable to support his son, but he's benefited from the 3% District Assembly Common Fund for persons with disability for his son. He got three sheep and hopes to sell them to support his son's education. Jonah is also very creative. He currently needs support to undergo treatment as well as to further his education. Someone could help me to undergo the surgery. I will be happy because of my because of the distance between our house and this school. It, is, it seems to be too far. So if they can help me to undergo my surgery so that I will be well and can do that, I will be happy. He struggles to walk when going to school. Even the crutches he uses were donated. Jonah had a message for parents of children with disability. I want to tell them to never give up about this. They, they have to look after them. Uh, they have to look for, uh, take care of them and do what they like. When they, I hope God will bless them and give them uh, something that they like or anything they are praying for. Poshigabo, TV3 News, Susuahu, Ahafo region. Jonah needs financial support to continue with his education. And that's it for Mission. Mission is supported by the Star Ghana Foundation with thanks to Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks so much for watching.